Hi there, welcome back to B17, the Mighty Eighth. This is the Squadron campaign. It's time for mission two. Let's head into the ops room, check out the target intelligence file. So last time I sent out three recon planes to gather intelligence on potential targets. This is the Reichholz oil production facility. It's a medium priority target, not very well defended. This next one is the Vesseling oil production facility and it's high priority with strong defenses. So let's go with this one as the primary target for mission two. Here we are on the map starting out of Ridgewell. Let's scroll across to Western Germany, focus in on the target area. Here's Vesseling oil production facility. Let's set this as the primary target. I've set up all of the waypoints for the mission. Now I'm going to fly in over Belgium cross the front line and then approach the target from the west. Once the bomb drops complete we'll do a clockwise circuit avoiding all of the flak areas before reaching Luxembourg from where we can vector for home base. There's a lot of flak here I want to make sure I avoid all of that on the way out. I'll choose a secondary target as a contingency and I'll go with the Cologne industrial complex which is nearby. Let's choose the aircraft for the mission. We'll go with the bottom six planes on the list, which have not yet flown. We'll make the Eagle's Wrath the lead plane. And I'll go with a mixture of GP and incendiary bombs. That's the planning completed. We can head into the briefing room and take a look at the recon. Recon footage is quite cloudy, so it's not that helpful, but we can see four large chimney stacks at the back here, which we can use to ID the target. Taking a closer look, we can see a line of storage drums running through the center of the target and the four large chimneys at the top right. Got some smaller chimneys on the left hand side as well. We're ready to go. Let's start the mission. It's 0750 hours, we're in the Eagle's Wrath, the lead plane for the squadron today. We've got takeoff clearance, so let's roll. We pick up the action at 09 1600 hours. We're flying over the city of Liège, up at 21,400 feet, heading towards the front line. Visibility over Western Germany looks good. We're just about to reach the decision point so we can get a weather forecast in a moment. Okay, turn coming up. 
weather at primary target is believed to be fair with five tenths clouds at approximately 6,000 feet. Weather conditions are good over primary target, so we'll stay on course. Dropped into the chin turret, we have got bandits off our one o'clock inbound. sure I got any hits there but the 419s are now circling back around got them here off my high three o'clock bit optimistic to try and hit them from this distance but I think they're gonna sweep back in for another attack back into the chin turret and here they come Got a few hits that time, and I'm just tracking one of the bandits as he's coming back in off our four o'clock. Got a bandit here coming straight for us, twelve o'clock. Definitely got hits on that guy and his plane is smoking. Tracking this 109, he's gone back over the top of the bomber formation. I think he's going to come back in for another attack. And we've just reached the initial point for the bomber. I think that's a couple of kills, one for the ball turret and one for the tail turret gunner. I can see another formation of 109s in the distance approaching. We are on the bomb run now, so let's try and get a fix on the drift. Seems to be somewhere around positive five degrees. Well, the bomber there's got negative 4.7, that's about right. I'll leave it at that. Closing in on target now, I'm just going to wait for the skies to clear. You can see the chimney stacks here. Nice view of the target now. You can just see the four large chimney stacks render in, so the bomb site is a little bit too far to the left. I'm going to place it more towards the center line where 
There is a long row of storage drums, if I remember from the recon. I think the flak has pushed us a little bit to the left, so I'm going to reposition. I've chosen to stay up at 19,500 feet for this bomb drop. I am not sure if the modelling of the flak accuracy takes into account altitude, so it may be that at this altitude we're less likely to take flag damage, I just don't know. Making my final adjustments before I lock in the bomb site. all looking good the cloud covers coming in obscuring the visibility but I think we're locked on a good position the bombs are away in three two one Here we are down at ground level and let's see how we did with the bomb drop. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I was initially worried. I thought we dropped a little bit short, but uh, we've just about nailed the whole of the target. Got the chimneys at the back left, two of the large chimneys standing at the back there, but nailed a lot of the storage drums through the middle and the surrounding assets. So overall, a really good bomb drop. You can see that the back of the lead plane, the Eagle's Wrath, has been heavily damaged by the flak. Looks like the wings and the engines are okay though. We're making our way to the rally point where we'll do a clockwise circuit out away from danger and head back towards Luxembourg. Checking on the bomber group, it looks like we've only lost one bomber from the lower left squadron. The All of the bombers in my squadron here in the middle are okay, as are all of the bombers in the upper right squadron. Quick check on navigation. We've almost left the black zone that was covering the primary target and reached our rally point where we'll begin our clockwise circuit out of enemy territory. And hopefully we'll avoid the flak sites here along the way. Once we reach Luxembourg, we'll be able to vector for home base and RTB. Let's check on the rest of the planes in my squadron. This is the target for tonight. Quite a bit of flak damage on the plane, so let's check the instruments. Everything looks fine so far, and the fuel tanks also look okay. This is Cap'n and the kids. I'm 
manifold pressures look fine as do the fuel and oil pressures temps are okay and no holes in the fuel tanks this is bub and looks like okay we've got three crew members injured let's get them patched up Everything looks okay on the instrument panel. And no holes in the fuel tanks. Let's take a look at Sally B. Got a lot of flak damage on the right wing. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a fuel leak there. Let's check it out. Everything looks okay, so it seems to be just structural damage on the wing. Lastly, let's look at tough stuff. Looks completely undamaged from the outside. Must be tough stuff indeed. Manifold pressure on engine 4 looks a bit low compared to the others, so there might be a slight problem there. Oil temperature on engine 4 is just a couple of degrees higher than expected. Fuel tanks are all okay. I don't think there's anything serious to worry about. We still have a squadron of P-51s providing fighter escort cover, but the Luftwaffe has disengaged so we can continue our circuit round to Luxembourg without fear of attack. Time is now 10.31 hours, we've made it to our waypoint over Luxembourg and it's time to RTB vectoring for home base. Let's watch the bombers as they make their turn. Always a bit risky when they've taken damage. Sometimes the bombers can't turn effectively and can crash into each other. But they've all performed well there. Everyone's safe. We're still just missing the one bomber from the bottom left squadron there. After a couple of hours flying across Europe and then over the channel, we've made it back to home base Ridgewell and it's time to land the planes. Eagle's Wrath is first in and I'm going to land this plane manually. The rudder and the tail has taken quite a lot of damage, but the plane is quite stable. Nicely lined up on short finals. And we're down safely. The 
rest of the squadron have made it down safely, but this plane, target for tonight, it's got quite a lot of damage to it, and as it's approaching the runway, notice that it is veering off to the right. So I might need to take manual control of this plane to bring it in. Probably has some damage to its controls. Not sure the pilot is going to be able to correct its position, so I'm going to switch to manual right now and bring the plane in. There we go, disaster averted, but down safely. Let's get the debrief on this mission. So 13th of February 1945, we attacked the Vesseling Oil Production Facility, which was the primary target. We'll ignore the bug in the game there that says distance flown zero. Didn't lose any bombers from our squadron. We shot down four enemy fighters and totally destroyed the target. Only six crew members sustained injuries. That's really good. The lower number of injuries we can get, the better because then the crew members will progress in their skills. Bomb damage assessment shows where our bombs went. The black dots represent our bombs. The red dots represent assets that we destroyed. Not quite sure what the smaller red circle represents, but um, either way, the bomb drop was really good. Knocked out most of the assets at the target site. Purple hearts for the injured crew, that's mission 2 completed, many thanks for watching and see you next time.